Hello, welcome back to Coding Casually and today we will be making a modern looking GUI using custom TK Inter. I'm sure that you must have heard about TK Inter because this is the primary module that most of the people use to make UIs and we would be using today uh, a very good module called custom TK Inter. It is a little different than the conventional TK Inter which is used to make GUIs because it gives you a different appearance altogether and is a little bit modern looking so how we can start doing this is very simple in order to start with custom tk enter you need to press ctrl c and i mean ctrl r and on cmd you need to write pip install custom tk enter and the moment you'll do this on my system it is already installed and i'm sure that if it is not installed on your system it will install it on your system Okay, so I'm right now using Python 3.10, uh, post 3.6 it works quite well, no issues about that. I'm sure that you are able to see my Visual Studio Code screen um, and I have already opened a file called Modern GUI. So let's get started. So in order to import, I'm uh, basically in order to get started with the same, we'll import custom TK Enter. If you're on Visual Studio Code, it'll help you a lot, and I'm sure that this the coding journey, which is a lot, little short one, will be completed more uh, like a little bit early because I'm sure that you know if 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 it tells you how you can write, it gives you a little leisure on that side. Okay, so we we'll have written import custom tk enter, and now what we would be writing custom tk enter, we will be setting an appearance mode. Uh, for this one we will be using a dark mode and then we can copy and then paste and then I can write set default color theme so right now we will be going with blue I'm sure that would not be an issue but there are many other options as well so the moment we have written blue uh, we would be right setting our root and then root can be custom.tk enter and now instead of tk we would be writing c t k and then close up and then we can write root dot main loop and then the ui will be up and running so like we do in tk enter we would be writing root dot geometry and that will help us setting the window size we would be taking 600 into 500 and then we can write a frame that we would be needing in which we would be pushing in all the labels and buttons and check boxes we would be writing frame equals to custom .tk enter and then we can write ctk frame and the moment we would write this we can set a master and then we would place the same on root so this is the root where we have defined so this is the one and now what we have to do is we have to pack it up and then how we pack we can pack like this pad y can be 20 and pad x can be another one which is 20 do we need to fill yes we need to fill and then we can fill with both okay and do we need to expand yes we might expand as well and then we will say true i'm sure that is okay and now what we would be doing is we would be pushing in label so title label or anything you can write so can be simple copy and then find label in it which is this one and then where you would be putting you would be putting instead of root now you would be putting the same in frame okay and now we will write text and that can be login system because we would be creating that only and then what we can do is we can also suggest a font that we would be needing and in order to do this i can write arial if that is okay and then I can also push in the size that I'm looking for. And now in order to pack it up, we will use the same thing. We will copy from here. And then we shall pack it up. And we can open up the bracket and say, I mean, we can just remove this. Pad 
y can be 12 and then pad x can be 10 this is something that we would be needing a lot of time and now we have a title we have to push in a username that can be custom tk enter and then we would be pushing in an entry box here which is this one placing it under frame or rather in frame and then what we would be doing is we have to give it a placeholder as well so placeholder can be for this one of course we can push in username uh, we will write username and then similarly like this we can copy this and then write password and then we will write show for password because password needs to be hidden we can write star now we will pack it up as I said dot pack and pad y can be um, 15 and pad x can be 10 we copy this paste this push in 20 here and then what we can do is now this is password for us and now we would be putting a submit button submit can be again the same story custom tk enter dot button and then placing the same in frame and then giving the text of login and then again dot pack pad y can be 20 and pad x can be 10 okay and now in order to make sure that when we would be maturing this uh, UI we would also need a remember me button so we can write remember me and then again the same but now instead of this we will write a checkbox and then uh, we can write some text stating the fact remember me and then we will pack it up by doing this and then pushing in 25 so in order to make sure that it runs well what we can do is we can check whether it's working well or not and as you see that it works astonishingly well so i'm sure that if you would make the same in tk enter you th that would not look uh, like this because it looks quite modern but uh, if you don't want the dark theme you can also use the system theme and then you will see that it lightens up similarly uh, there are many options you are not limited to entry a button or a label there are sliders option boxes and plenty if you want me to explore those options and make a different UI altogether please push in a comment and I'm sure I'll make that video for you or else if you have any issues or any ambiguity you can just put in a comment and we would be able to answer that would really also want you to subscribe to the channel and along with that please like the video as well and share it with your friends who are now getting into making UIs using Python. Thank you very much.